science friends, I'm Tiffany and welcome back to the science of Max Einstein Explained. In Max Einstein, the genius experiment from James Patterson, Max is no stranger to trouble. And in order to escape two large and unsavory characters, Max employs some quick thinking and Newton's second law of motion. You know what? Let's get into the science of that right now. So, what is Newton's second law of motion? Well, it states that an object will accelerate if the force acting on an object is unbalanced. Also, the greater the mass of an object, the greater the amount of force needed to accelerate that object. Check out this box. It has a mass of 2.268 kilograms, and currently it's showing us Newton's first law of motion. An object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon. If I push this box, the box will move. See, I applied force to this side of the box, which made it go in this direction. Now, what if I wanted to move something larger? <sighs> like this box. This box has a mass of 22.68 kilograms, 10 times the mass of the other box. Therefore, it'll take me more force to move it. See? <sighs> because this box has more mass, it takes more force for me to move it from here to there. Now what if I wanted to move something even larger? I mean, really big. Like this car, what if I wanted to move it from one place to another? See, it requires a lot more force to cause the car to accelerate because its mass is much, much larger than the box. Well, you guys had better head on out of here. I'm gonna be learning a lot more about Newton's second law. I'm on my way to the gas station. I'll see you guys next time.